So what if I don't want to aim at just like a particular person, like in this last example where I was where I was looking for matches where the person ID is two? What if I want to grab for each person? Um, I want to grab out all the things they own and do like a full report of what everybody's got going. Um, I'm going to clean out some of this stuff so I have room here to work. So I'm going to get rid of the query. I'm going to get rid of this echo here. And then I'm going to go back in my uh, little PHP, my admin page, just to look at some stuff. So I've got in my person uh, table, I've got a person ID, a person last name, a person full name. In my people's things, I've got that person ID connector. We already saw the connector between the thing table and this table. So I'm going to write a special query that's called an inner join, which means um, grab the things that are basically um, matched between the tables. So here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to select everything from, um, and I need to do two joins because I actually want to join three tables together because I want to grab all the p person's actual information and then all the information for each of the things they own and the way I'm going to connect them is through the people's things table. So I'm going to first select from um, my first table, which is people's things. And I'm going to say inner join. This is a command that means let's connect them based on the common fields. And I'm going to join my second table, which is um, person. And the thing I want to match between these two tables is um, the person ID from both tables. Um, when I have multiple tables with the same uh, column name, I can add the, the table name in front of it just so it's clear what, what I mean. So I'm going to say match people's oops, things, that person ID, and match that to the person tables, that person ID. Okay, so that's my first part of the join. And then I want to also join on um, third table which is thing and I want to join that based on let's see um, people's things dot thing ID is equal to thing dot thing ID and I'll put my parentheses all right let's see if I got this constructed correctly let's run the query yeah, so here we go. So I got with Bethany, I've got the book and the soda. With Zoe, I've got the, the book. So it's kind of combined all that information. See now I have all the info from all three tables in a combined table. That's what a join does. It com combines several tables. So I'm going to grab this query and let's go put it back in our code here. So I know it works. Um, and now I have more things to pull out. Um, so I probably want to grab out like the person's information too. So let's grab out their name. Um, let's call this person first name. We'll grab that out of the table. So this is person first name. And let's grab their last name. Uh, and it's offering this to me because I pre-tested this before I start recording this video. So you will have to type them in completely. So now I've got those two pieces out. Um, let's add them into this echo here. So let's say, okay, person, first name, person, last name, put a break. Let's see what we've got coming out on the page now when I run this thing. Bethany Petter, one book. Bethany Petter, two soda. Zoe Petter, one book. Okay, that's cool. But if I was going to like list these and I wanted to say like Bethany Petter's items, I wouldn't want to print this name out twice. Um, so how could I mess with this so that doesn't happen? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of trickery here. I'm going to make the, an extra variable right here. Um, let's call it full name. And let's just concatenate together these two things. The space in between them. Last name. Okay. And then um, I've got that. After everything prints out, I'm going to save a copy of that last full, or let's call it previous full name is equal to full name. 
So when the loop goes back around, I will have the newly accessed full name inside here and the one from the previous iteration of this loop inside here. And then what I can do right here is a little trickery that says if the full name does not equal the previous one, then I'm going to print out this piece. And I'm going to say this is actually that person's uh, things. So it's like a title. In fact, let's get it some tags so you can see what's going on. And then I won't need the break tag. All right, let's see if that worked. Bethany Petter's things, one book, two soda. Okay, Zoe Petter's things, one book. Sweet, so that's how I can join multiple tables and then access the stuff that belongs to each of them.